All right, if you're getting one of these failed uploading messages, it probably has to do with the fact that you haven't selected either the correct board and or the correct port. So the board is just referring to like what Arduino board are you trying to hook up or like what you know Arduino IDE compatible board. And the port is just the serial port that the computer is assigning to your Arduino to communicate with your Arduino from your computer. All right, so how do we fix this? Here's this little drop down in Arduino IDE 2.0. And what you're gonna do is come right here to select other board and port. And then on the left hand side, we have boards. And on the right side, we have ports. Now I'm realizing I don't even have my Arduino Uno hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right now. So I just plugged in my Arduino Uno and a port just showed up there. Okay, so here I've searched for Uno. So you can just search for your board. So you're just trying to find your board. So here's my Uno, there's a little check mark. I could select something else, but I'm trying to upload to an Uno. And then I need to select the correct port. So I just plugged it in and that one got checked. So what if you don't know which one's which? Well, just unplug your board and then that port should disappear. There we go. So now it's disappeared. Well, I know it's not this one. So now let me plug it back in. And now it just showed up. Okay, and look, it automatically selected too. So there's this little show all ports button here. I don't know, I really haven't had much luck with this. Usually it doesn't show any more ports. Maybe it will for you, but anyway, so now we've selected the board and we've selected the port and we click okay. And then just, I mean, notice the error message, no upload port provided. So now we have provided an upload port. And if you look in the bottom, right of your screen right here, you'll see that it says the name of the board on what port you've selected. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and click upload. Do, 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 do. All right, sweet, so that's it. That's all you have to do. So that pretty much is gonna solve 90% of your failed uploading errors. You just gotta select the right board and port. But what if you're like, Mike, when I go here, I don't see the name of my board. I don't see my board listed. I'm, you know, I'm searching for something and it, it's not showing up. Well, if that's the case, you might not have installed the board package for your computer. So the Arduino IDE too makes it pretty easy for installing board packages. In fact, if you're using like an out of the box Arduino board, you know, like from the Arduino company, it will usually automatically detect that you've just hooked up a new board and it will prompt you to install the board package for that board. They also call it like a board core. I'm not sure what the exact right terminology is. Anyway, so that board package are just some files that basically translate the code you've written to the specific target development board you're working on. That way, code you write for, for example, an Arduino Uno can work on an Arduino Mega or, or an ESP board or whatever. Okay, so how do you actually install a board package? Well, it's pretty easy. Over here on the left, you click this little icon that looks like an Arduino board and then you just search for your board. So I don't know, I'm just gonna say like ESP, okay? ESP 32s are pretty popular boards. Maybe you haven't installed the core. And now you'll see some stuff kind of pops up here, right? And what you're looking for here isn't the specific name of your board, like maybe you have a board made by Adafruit or a board made by Unexpected Maker or something like that. You're not looking for that specific board, you're looking for the processor category. So like ESP 32 boards or dev boards that use ESP32s, dev boards that use ESP8266, Arduino boards that are using AVR. Now you'll notice, you'll see remove here, that's because I already have these installed, but you would just click install. Okay, so once you've done that, then all you have to do is go back up to this dropdown, select other board and port, and now when you search for it, it should, you know, hopefully you'll be able to find it. Now you might be like, well, Mike, I've got this really cheap Chinese clone board and I'm not seeing the exact name in here, like here's here's one, these uh, Wemo boards, there's like, I don't know, a million variety of these. You might be like, I can't find the exact one that it says I have. Well, okay, I've got two recommendations if you can't find the name here. One would be just pick a name that's as close as possible. That might sound silly, but you're not gonna break anything. And you know what, you might be surprised, it might work for you. The other option is wherever you bought this thing, maybe you bought it on Amazon or eBay or something like that, Go and see if they tell you which board to select. Sometimes they'll say that in the board description, or if you're lucky, maybe there is a reviewer of the product and that kind soul left some comments in the review that says, hey, I used this port and it worked really well. 
Those people are wonderful. If that was you, thank you. All right. Well, hopefully you have vanquished this error message and you've got your code uploading, but now what? Well, now you got to program some stuff. If you're just getting started programming Arduino, check out this video right here. It is the Arduino Masterclass. It's going to get you up and running with Arduino in no time. Check it out right here.